Preparing a drawing for plotting requires specifying many settings and options that define the output of your drawing. To save time, you can save these settings in what's called the named page setup. You can establish and apply a named page setup to paper space layouts using the page setup manager. Let's open up the architectural annotation scaling and multi-leader example file. So to start, we're going to make a new layout tab. To do that, just right click on the layout tabs and click new layout. That will create a tab called layout one. Page name is fine for right now. So let's activate that tab by clicking on it. Just go to it. And we have a viewport already set up. Now let's go to the page setup manager. It's real easy to get to. Just go down to your layout tab and right click on it and go to page setup manager. Now this window allows you to either pick a page set up already in the drawing or make a new one. Any names that you see down here with asterisks on it, as we have here layout and sections and details, are paper space tabs. Any others that you'll see can actually be assigned to it. Right now we don't have any page setups in here. So in order to use our page setups, we're going to have to create a new one. So click on the new button. Let's give this a name. I'm just going to call it page setup example. Now what you want to do with the names is give it a name that defines or describes what's going on. So if you're printing a black and white eight and a half by 11, give it a name similar to that. Keep them short, but make sure they're clear and well-defined so that anyone using them knows and understands exactly what it is you're trying to do with that page setup. So give it a name, click OK. Now we just go through all of the settings, just like we would when we were normally printing. So I'm going to pick my printer first. Since I only have one real printer to choose from, I'm going to pick it. And this gives me a warning. It says, hey, my page size is too big, and I realize that. I'm clicking OK, and it gives a description of what's going on here. Now I'm going to pick letter size for my paper size, and I want to pick extents. I want it to center the plot and I want it to fit to the page. When you're ready, click on this preview, and the preview button will show you exactly what it's going to look like. See, that fits everything into an eight and a half by 11 size sheet, works perfectly for me. Now I can zoom in and out with my scroll wheel. I can also pan with my scroll wheel, or if I right click, I can get to pan and zoom, or zoom window, or zoom original, or when I'm finished, I just click exit. Now when everything else is okay, make sure my portrait and landscape is set up. I'm not going to use a CTB file. Everything else here looks good. I'm going to click okay. And now my page setup has been created and now I can apply it to this paper space tab. So what I do is I select it and I hit the set current button. Now when you do that, you'll see here it says layout one and in parentheses, it has the name of the page setup. That means it's been assigned to this paper space tab. This paper space tab does not have a page set up at all. That's okay. I'm going to create one more. So I'm going to select new. Now you notice that I selected this page set up before I clicked new. This works just like it does in any of the other style creations, you know, dimensions, text, etc. It will copy these settings and then I'll just be able to tweak it however I want. Well, I'm going to call this PDF. 24 by 36, because that's what I'm going to create. With this page set up, my drawings will be printed not to paper, but to a PDF file. And it will be full size, 24 by 36. So I'm going to click OK. AutoCAD, by default and out of the box, comes with several settings. I have some programs that I use, like Snagit, OneNote, and Nitro PDF Creator, that will allow me to print to those file types. Also, you have a Microsoft XPS document writer. You should have that if you're running Windows, which you should be. If you have a fax printer set up or your default Windows printer, you can print to those types of files. AutoCAD itself comes with the settings to print to a DWF file, a DWFX, a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG file. And that are these options here. So instead of it sending the document to a piece of paper, it sends it to one of these electronic file types. So this is a great way to share your drawings via email. 
Well, I'm going to use the DWG to PDF file. I have a lot of options here available to me. Now this is an architectural D size drawing, a 36 by 24 size sheet. Now you see I have two options here, 36 by 24 and a 24 by 36. Well this drawing is a 36 by 24 in reality. It's 36 wide, 24 tall. And the first number in your AutoCAD printing is what's going to be the width. So that's what I'm going to pick, 36 by 24. Now I'm still set as the drawing to extents, and this is set to center, this is set to fit to paper. I'm going to turn that off, change my units to one, and you can see here this drawing is not really set up to be printed to that size. And you're going to find out that this happens to you quite often, where you think it's set up to be a certain way, but it really isn't. If I hit a preview, you can see how small that is. What's happening here is that this paper space tab is set up to be 8.5 by 11. And that's okay, because I'm not going to apply it to this paper space tab. I'm going to apply it to this other one. So I am going to set up to layout 1 to 1. And now it's going to be 24 by 36 when I use this setting. I'm going to click OK. And now it's here as an option available to me. I'm going to click Close. I'm going to go to this paper space tab. I'm going to right click on it and go to my Page Setup Manager. And for this Paper Space tab, I'm going to select my PDF 24 by 36, pick the Set Current, and click Close. Remember I talked about that dashed line? Here it is right there, that's the dashed line. So I'm going to have to reposition my viewport and my other drawing objects here to make sure it fits inside my sheet. So I'm using the Move command, selecting everything. Now they have these little guidelines here in this drawing, so I'm going to try to use that. You can see the white paper is right here. That also gives me a guide as to my paper size. Now you can't snap to any of those points, so you just gotta kinda eyeball it. And once you do that, let's look over here, and we see here that it seems to be fitting into everything, and we're good. Now we can save the file, and we can go on from there. Because now when I want to print, Go to print, I find my page setups, I select it, I hit my preview, see that it works, right click, exit, and then click OK. I don't have to go through any of these settings, they all come up automatically for me, and I know they're correct. So it saves time and it makes sure you print correctly every time.